And we're back, Human Nuggets here with my initial impressions of the Modern Warfare 3 beta for you today. Uh, unfortunately all the background footage will be Modern Warfare 2 because I have no way of recording my PlayStation, which is a PS4, so it's garbage and you probably wouldn't want to see the choppy ass low resolution footage anyway. Um, and that being said, it does mean that some things I won't be commenting on, such as like visual clarity, and like movement because I'm not used to using a controller, I haven't used one in like four years. But other stuff that shouldn't really be console dependent, I'm gonna try and give my initial thoughts on. And then at the end a bit of uh, my thoughts towards the zombies mode after watching the uh, kind of people's next videos about that. So I'm um, getting into the multiplayer stuff. Something that is really nice to see is the significantly reduced visual recoil. It makes so much difference. Um, just like the... I know I said I wasn't going to talk about clarity, but like it's so much less obstruction on your screen. So even if I can't make out the details, I can certainly tell that it's not going to be obscuring things. Another thing that there's not is stage reloads. Reload cancelling is back, along with slide cancelling, but... Again, I did that's movement and and I don't really care whether that's um around or not. Like I know some people really say it has to be there or doesn't have to be there, but I I never really used it. I might end up trying to learn it, but it wasn't really something I felt needed to be there. And uh, that being said, like even though there's been a bunch of movement changes, people are already camping already. Like there is so many people just stationary finding like the little corners or doorways to camp in and just sitting there the entire match and it's really fucking annoying because like it takes the enjoyment away like I don't see how you enjoy playing like that like it's boring as fuck and then like yeah it's just taking away from the experience for everyone else and a big problem with them people camping especially with snipers snipers are fucking overpowered at the moment because the game has a much slower TTK due to the increased health that there is now. There's now 150 uh, base health instead of 100. Which they were saying it was trying to like line it up with Warzone more or something. But I don't I, again I don't play Warzone. So it's kind of just like slowing it down I don't mind. It kind of almost seems a bit too slow. I'd probably get used to it. It's just kind of the MW2 has such a fast TTK that going to that feels almost comical. But, because snipers are like one or two shot weapons, like the ones, I don't know if there's one or two in there at the moment, I should probably check that. But uh, at least one of them is like a one shot headshot to the head and then two shots to the body. And like you rechamber so far, like you wouldn't even really know that it's a bolt action. It just rechambers that quickly and it's like, well, if I'm taking six or so bullets to uh take you down and you can just one shot me to the head dome me across map it's it's a very big point of imbalance I don't know how they would fix that because obviously if they take away the one shot potential of snipers then snipers are gonna feel like garbage so uh I'll be interested to see how they kind of address that the slower TTK also means if they have long shot camo challenges again I'm going to rip my fucking hair out because god it's uh, it takes a while, a, a long while. I've mostly just been using uh, SNGs at the moment, so that probably contributes to it taking so long to begin with. But like, it is obviously going to take longer all the time. And then long shots, yeah, yeah, it's just been quite annoying so far. And then I like one little kind of tidbit of note is the the flag size on domination seems to be really tiny um that could just be a perception thing but it seems like you have to be pretty much on the actual like flag base almost for it to trigger starting to charge up which is a bit confusing and if it's actually small and i'm not just going crazy that's that's a very uh, nuisance kind of thing to feature the, the with the flags though there is the uh I got an ACS. It's a little computer that you can chuck on points and it counts as a person and uh, captures them for you. It's pretty neat. Um, it's also pretty obvious where they are, so they're quite easy to take down if uh, if that's something 
you're after like it, it, it takes a few shots to take out but yeah it's incredibly obvious where they are and they don't last that long I don't think then there's stuff like at the moment um, everyone's kind of complaining about the battle rage because it's incredibly easy to get a lot of them and they're and, uh, in your tactical spot now instead of a field upgrade so they're very easy to get you get them guaranteed every life if you're running that and it's uh it's very annoying to come up against because like it keeps your attack sprint up it increases your healing which is yeah it's, it's making quite a big difference to the kind of state of the game which they do have some time to change things and sledgehammer is normally pretty good at changing things they're a lot better than Infinity Ward when it comes to actually making changes the community wants, so I'm looking forward to seeing that hopefully. That's kind of like my initial thoughts on the multiplayer part. Then looking at the zombies thing, um, it is <laughs> incredibly disappointing. I'm not looking forward to it at all. Which like normally I'd just be like, oh I won't play it then. Because uh, apparently I watched uh, I watched Mr. Ruffle Waffle's video of him reacting to fucking Noah J's video just because I'm subscribed to one but not the other. And you could see how disappointed Noah J was when he was talking about it being crap in solo. You could see he was trying his hardest not to just insult the game mode. Like you could see him processing his thoughts and trying to think of how can I spin this to seem more positive which was quite entertaining to watch but a bit of a letdown. I already wasn't looking forward to it because it really is just like DMZ meets Outbreak um, with a bunch of things like an hour time limit and then the circle will start closing and you got to exfil out of that, all that kind of stuff. Um, there's apparently no main easter egg at the beginning um, and then it's like yeah squads like DMZ you can merge squads together, you can take stuff out as contraband weapons and take them into other things, you can take like perkins out and all that kind of stuff. Which, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see how it works, but I'm, yeah, I'm not very excited for it. The only reason I will be playing it is because there is apparently a mastery camo for it. And he said it's not just the Modern Warfare 3 weapons that are getting it, apparently they have gone back and gone through to do uh, mastery camos for all of the MW2 weapons in the Zombies mode. So uh, that's gonna be, it could end up being really fun, and I'm just being pessimistic, but it's not really how I want to play zombies. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that's that's something to keep I'll be keeping an eye on if there's any more news. But yeah, it's kinda not got my hopes up. Other than that, the beta, yeah, it, I'm struggling with it because I'm not used to controller. And my PS4 it's one of the like original original PS4s. Um like the fucking back when they had to change the design of it because uh, the little rubber feet would expand and hit the eject button and it's so fucking outdated but I just hadn't been using console since I moved to PC so um, that's probably impacting my enjoyment of the experience a bit but overall it's not terrible I'll definitely do a much more in-depth kind of thought with some actual content from the beta next weekend when it's on PC um, for now though I think that's where we will leave it I hope you have enjoyed and I We'll catch you in the next one.